In a previous video, I showed you how to take the background out of a photo so that it's transparent. In this video, I'm going to show you how you take that same photo and superimpose it in front of a background photo so it looks like that person is in the new scene. I'm going to use Pixlr again, which is a photo editing application. It's web-based and it's free. It has a lot of the same features as Photoshop Editor. But like I said, it's free, so we use it in computer class a lot. So you would go to pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R dot C-O-M, and then you would click on Open Photo Editor, and then Open Image from Computer, and I have this photo that I want to use as my background photo. Double-click on it, and here it is in the window. Then I want to go to Image, oh, Layer, sorry. Open image as layer, and then come down here. This was the uh, girl transparent was the photo that I created in the last video, and I cropped it so that some of the background would be gone, but it's still transparent. Let's open that up, and if I want to move her over, I would just click on the move tool, and then I could bring her in. Um. She's very big, so what I want to do is size her. What I'm going to do is, let's see, edit, free transform, and then grab the corner like that and size her. And then I move her up, put her down here so her legs don't look like they're chopped off. And so you can decide exactly where you want to put her. All right. And that looks pretty good. Now I want to show you a couple of things. If you want to work on, you can want to work on the kitten, you can turn the layer one off. Let's say yes to the changes first. You can turn the her off or you can turn her on and unlock the background and turn the background off. That's how you work on each layer. And then you can turn them both off on to see how it looks. The lay these layers just go in order. So the bottom layer is this one and the top layer is this one. If you had three or four layers, it would just um progress that way. So if I were to drag layer zero over layer one now the kitten is over on top of the girl. She's still there, but you just don't see her. So let's move her back. So so that's how the layering works. I want to show you one other thing. If you want to print this photo, um, I would go ahead and crop it. Right now it says no restriction. So if you're going to use it for a website or something like, or a document where it's not important, what the width and height of the photo is, then you can use this no restrictions. But if you are going to print it um, like a 4 by 6 or an 8 by 10, I would go ahead and set the aspect ratio. And let's say I wanted to do a 4 by 6 photo, then what I would do is I would make it 4 width and 6 height if I wanted it to be a vertical photo. And then you would just draw the box around the photo, and you can alter the size after you've drawn the box. So I want it to move it to the right a little bit. And so now, if I were to say yes to that cropping, that's exactly what it will look like if you print it as a 4 by 6 If you change this to a 6 by 4 then it would be a horizontal picture. Um, if you were going to print it as an 8 by 10 then you would change the numbers to an 8 and a 10 or an 8 by 11 or a 5 by 7. Those are all standard sizes that you could um, print. So let's just go ahead and save this file. Save. And then I'm going to call this girl with cat. And you can leave it as a JPEG if you'd like, or you could pick one of the other um, 
file formats, but I typically use JPEG for photos that I don't need a transparent background. It's a very common format. And then you would click OK, and then you would say Save. So it's as simple as that.